What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA I'm here with one of my teammates, Randy Turner. He is a former professional MMA champion and a former Canadian Special Force soldier. Today we're gonna to do some sparring, three rounds of five minutes. Randy also has his own YouTube channel. Want to explain a little bit about it? Sure, so the YouTube channel, if you're interested, it's direct action, combat performance. So with the, the new business, it's just established since I recently retired from the Canadian Armed Forces. I'm in the, uh, the realm of teaching self-defense, firearms training with a full complement of full spectrum combative training. Uh, Jeff and I have known each other for quite some time and we've been training together in the MMA realm since uh, probably about 2007, 2008. So I'm really looking forward to this opportunity to do some sparring with, uh, with Jeff Chan. Let's get started. So as Randy mentioned in the intro, we have been training partners since 2007. Although Randy is made out of steel, hits like a truck and has an endless gas tank, I really love sparring him because he knows how to control the strikes so that we never injure or hurt each other. But at the same time, he also spars with a high intensity and gives you the pressure and feeling of a real fight. We both understand that we are not sparring to beat each other up or to win, but we are sparring to help each other improve. Here is a beautiful high kick from Randy. He throws a cross baiting me to parry with my left hand, but I over parried and Randy capitalized on that by following up with the right high kick. Now if you guys would like to see Randy's version of this video, you can check it out on his YouTube channel, Direct Action, or find the link in the description box below. It includes an interview of both me and Randy on our thoughts of how the sparring session went and a bit of our strategies going into each round. It was also filmed with a different angle and he shows the full length sparring video with no edits. Now if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys would know that with my videos I cut to the chase and keep only the action parts. I have a short attention span which makes me think that you guys might too, so in my videos I cut out all the parts where we are tied up with no action when grappling, uh, when we're just staring at each other breathing, or the parts where we are straining our shin guards or where I'm fixing my hair. Instead, I like to replay some of my favorite exchanges in slow motion. In this particular sparring session with Randy, I had to replay many more exchanges because Randy punches so fast, it's really hard to catch what landed and what didn't. Randy is really good at closing the distance and getting into my pocket to punch. I really have to be on my toes and utilize my footwork. Here I tried to undercatch Randy's kick, but I felt him instantly retract his leg back, meaning the sweep probably would have failed, so I countered with a cross instead. And here I tried to time a takedown, but Randy really dropped his hips down on me, stuffing the takedown. I tried to push him up against the wall and work on some cage wrestling, but uh, he was in the special forces for a reason and he's seriously really strong. I tried to hip throw here, but I literally could not move him. A very nice little short punch from Randy, which could have easily been an elbow in a real fight, cutting me right up. One of my favorite ways to land the cross is to trap the lead hand down and pop. Here's me playing around with some Dustin Poirier combinations and shifting. You guys can keep an eye out for a video on him that I am currently in the process of making. Here Randy's shin just skins off the top of my head. He's deceivingly really flexible and was doing the full splits while warming up before we sparred. Here's a rare occasion. We literally both landed the jab at the same time and then we both landed the cross at the same time. Randy catches my kick here and throws a cross as he runs forward to take me down. And my goal was to immediately try to stand back up. A very nice punch off the break here from Randy. And a left body kick to cross combination for me. Here's a few Sean O'Malley moves coming up. Also stay tuned for a video of Sean O'Malley. I hope to get this video of him next week before his fight on August 15th against Marlon Vera. And that was the end of round one. Beginning of round two, I tried to fake a switch kick to land my jab in southpaw stance, but Randy circled away. A nice Superman hook here, followed by several other punches. When Randy throws, he doesn't just throw one punch, but he throws five to six different punches. Are you guys enjoying this type of full commentary of my sparring vlogs? Comment below and let me know if you guys prefer this and with this amount of slow motion replays and spotlighting the significant strikes landed. Here I 360 block the overhand right with my left hand and counter with a straight cross.
And here I fainted into a double leg takedown. Randy gets his underhook, scrambles to his knee. I disengage, but he scooped onto my ankle and trips me. Then I rhino kicked off of his hips to create some space and did a technical lift to stand back up onto my feet. One of my favorite counters here, stepping back into southpaw stance as I simultaneously throw my right hook. A nice double low kick from Randy here. As you can see, Randy likes to pressure forward with multiple punches. So a good way to deal with that is the pullback cross. If he keeps moving forward, then I like to use my reactive double leg shot. Randy traps my arm here, looking for either an armbar or omoplata, I believe. As he shot his leg over my head, I blocked it with my left hand and postured up to break away from any submissions. I didn't want any part of that, so I just disengaged and stood back up. A nice right hook landed here from Randy. So in MMA, you need to strategically pick when to throw your body kicks, because if you throw it recklessly, or with no setups like myself here, it can be easily caught. So Randy takes me down after catching my kick, and I immediately framed and technical lifted to stand back up. Here I tried a Wonder Boy or Max Holloway cross jab cross combination. I landed the Darden jab but also ate a jab at the same time. Another step into southpaw as I threw my right hook. Randy continues to move forward and I slipped to the inside of his jab and threw a cross with my elbows flared right over the top. And a leg kick for a leg kick. Randy shoots for another takedown. He's got his underhook in and pushing me up against the wall. Then he goes to pick my ankle as he drives me forward towards the ground, finishing the takedown. He then passes my guard and landed in full back mount. Randy probably could have finished the fight if this was a real match here. Here I went for a left high kick as Randy simultaneously shot for a takedown. He ended up running into my knee with his head. Uh, luckily there was no cut, so we just restarted from there. A nice parry into a jab from Randy. Randy scores another takedown, but I posted on my arm and hip heisted to pop back up to my feet. If you guys are interested in learning how to instantly stand back up when taken to the ground, check out the link in the description box below. And that was the end of round two. A jab cross jab combo here. You guys must recognize it if you watched my Max Holloway breakdown. And here's another Dustin Poirier combo that I tried. Another exchange here where I landed a punch only to eat one from Randy. Then I landed a second punch to eat another punch from Randy. And another hand trap to cross, but Randy fires back with his own. Here I ate a low kick in return, I landed a cross down the middle. I then followed up with a rear body kick to Superman cross, but Randy was quick to fire back with a counter. Another reactive double leg shot when Randy went to punch me, but it was nicely stuffed. Then I broke out of clinch and tried to catch Randy with my high kick. Just like how Randy broke off the clinch and punched me earlier in round one, it's always a good option to try to break out of clinch and kick. A nice stiff jab from Randy as I was moving in on him. And at this point, I decided I was getting hit too many times, so I decided to play my Dominic Cruz game. Lots of footwork and head movement to try to make Randy miss. Another Max Holloway move, jab, lean back just enough to dodge, and back into attack. And here I tried to trip Randy with some foot sweeps. I've been working on a few foot sweeps, which I hope to release a video on soon. So here I tried to time Randy's punch and duck right underneath it for a double leg. But Randy threw a body punch instead, so as I changed levels, I ran right into it with my face. Randy beats me up a bit from side control, and then I scramble to my feet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, like, and share this video. Also go check out Randy's channel at Direct Action, as he is full of knowledge and experience from being a Canadian Special Force soldier and a professional MMA champion.